What's up, YouTube? It's the Hi-Fi Brothers. Yeah, and today we're going to talk about three new products from Sonos. Let's get to it. Well, welcome to today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um, like, Armando's going to give us a rundown of the Sonos products. Um, so, Armando, what's, what's going on about? I just got an email about a week ago, and Sonos released uh, three new product updates. Basically, what they're doing is they're, they're either replacing um, older products in their lineup, or they, they came out with something new. So, the first product we're going to talk about is called the Sonos Move. This is oh, a, cool. uh, yeah, it's basically a portable Sonos speaker. Uh, it's, it's, you know, runs off a of battery. Uh, there's a, so far from what I've seen, it's got a docking station that you can put the uh, speaker in and, you know, it charges it and then you can basically take it out and then you can move it wherever you want in your house. I think a lot of people in the Sonos community have been wanting a speaker like this for a long time because, you know, even for me, like sometimes I want to bring a Sonos speaker outside, but the problem is, is it's got to be plugged in. With the move, it's got a battery built in, which wow. is kind of more of like a traditional like Bluetooth speaker. The other cool thing about this, and this is actually the first product to do it, it actually has Bluetooth capability. So oh. for those of you that are out there that uh, are used to connecting via Bluetooth, you will be able to do this with the uh, Sonos Move. But yeah, as far as price, it is currently listed for $399. So it could be a tad on the uh, expensive side for, for people that are looking for you know, a Bluetooth or wireless speaker, because there's definitely a lot of them are out there. But for people that are into Sonos products, could be a you know middle range, I would say, for, oh, for a lot of those people. It's pretty cool. So, but yeah, then the next product that they came out with is actually an update to the Connect, which is now called the Port. Um, so it comes in a black finish. It looks very similar to the Amp as far as the aesthetics and um, you know the 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 ports on the back seem to have the same um, functions as the Connect did. The only thing that I can see from the photos and then from the tech specs that they removed was an optical uh, output. So That's good. that could be a uh, could be an issue for some people that were using theirs uh, connecting to optical. But uh, you know it still has a standard analog. You know the RCA um, and the the digital coax. Uh, port on the back but what the port basically is it's just like the connect connect is if you have an existing stereo you know you have your own receiver and you want to add that setup to the sonos architecture that's what the port slash or what the connect before that's what those are for oh, gotcha. so you have like myself in the previous video we you know we talked about how i have like a vintage hi-fi setup from the 70s with a reel-to-reel -reel turntable and stuff like that and i have a connect that's that's uh that i'm able to broadcast you know to my yeah. other speakers in my house so that cool. that's basically what the port is doing uh and the port right now is listed as at 399 so the third and final product that they released is called the sonos one sl basically looks just like the sonos one the only difference is does not have the microphone uh built into it so what i think this speaker is it's going to replace the play one which is out there and it just makes sense because it's got the soft touch controls on there which matches a lot of the newer products that Sonos has out there right now. For those of you that have Play Ones or looking to get Play Ones, uh, the Sonos One SL is the replacement for the Play One. Again, the biggest difference between the SL and the Sonos One is that the Sonos One SL does not have the microphone. So if you're looking for Amazon or Google Assistant, it's not going to have that in there. And then as far as cost, it's uh, $179. And that's the three products, Ralph. That's pretty much what Sonos has out there. But, uh, you know, we want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about these new products from Sonos? Are you excited about them? Are you looking to add them to your existing Sonos setup? Do you think that some of these newer products like the Port, the SL, are worth replacing the older products? Mm -hmm like to hear your thoughts there absolutely so make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification button and as always keep, keep it, it hi-fi fi.